Happy New Year and welcome to Desi. Desi is a static blog generator. That means that unlike WordPress or Blogger, uh, your blog files are saved on your computer and then you copy them to the website where you'd like to host them. I'm going to show you how to get started with Desi and how to use Google Drive as the website host. Um, so first off, I do intend for Desi to become the do-it-yourself blog for the normal person and as much as a normal person would want a do-it-yourself blog. However, as of right now there still are some technical steps that have to be done to get started. Uh, so I'll walk you through those. It's mostly just copy and paste. So if you um, open up Spotlight here and open up uh, Terminal, I've already got one open. Um, this is where you're going to be copying and pasting these commands. Uh, this command is a bunch of things that you're going to need in order to run uh, the program Desi. Uh, because I don't have it packaged with an installer where it comes with all the tools that it needs in one nice little compact bit. Um, this will install IOJS, which is a JavaScript platform, and Desi is written in JavaScript. so. It is what allows um, Desi to run. I will go ahead and uh, hit enter here. For you, it's going to come up and ask you uh, if you'd like to install Xcode. You'll need to say yes. Probably will take 10 minutes or so to install. You might need to restart your computer. Um, and then you may need to come back and then run that command again to finish up. In theory, it should wait for Xcode to finish installing and then continue. But anyway, um, so that gets IOJS installed. And then the next step is to install Desi from the IOJS app store, which is called NPM. Um, why it's called NPM is kind of a mystery, but it's more or less a, an app store for um, JavaScript programs. So I just tell it the name of the program that I want to install, and it's going to go grab it, download it, and put it on my computer. Um, you don't need to worry about all of that text scrolling by. But now Desi is installed. Uh, but before I can use Desi, I need a blog. Um, so let me just copy, open up a tab, paste here. This is the blog template. So it's a folder that's got a couple of different files inside of it um, that are what you need in order to get started with Desi. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this command and what it's basically going to do is git is just a program that has the ability to clone or copy a folder from a website more or less and we're going to copy that folder and name it blog. Okay, so now I'm going to push D, which is going to go into the directory blog, and then I'll do open.slash so you can see. I just copied those same files we looked at on the website here on my computer. And the next step will be in the themes folder here, it's empty. We don't have a theme yet, so we wouldn't be able to, um, to build this blog because we need the theme is what it's going to look like and where the content is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. This is just another um, bunch of folders and whatnot that's for the theme. And it's going to download that. All right, now that's downloaded. So now if I go back and I look in themes, I see that I've got some layouts for pages and posts and a default layout and also that I have some style files. I don't need to modify those. Um, there are a couple different themes that that uh, you could choose from or, or edit your own. Um, but I'll just leave that be for now and move on to running Desi. So we're in the blog folder and we need to start Desi from the blog folder. Okay, Desi is started and I'm going to copy this URL and close that tab out. 
open a new one, paste it in. So here you can see it looks very similar to this site, except that it's running on our computer. So the local there points back to my computer. And um, the reason that they're similar is because it's actually the same thing. I just made the theme different so you know which was which. But when you click try it here and you play around on the website, you're running the same program that is now installed on your computer. So you can click try it. I'll just go ahead and put a few details in. And you'll notice that my picture automatically appeared. That's because my email address is associated with a Gravatar. So you can go to gravatarga.com and put in your sign up, put in your email address and a nice headshot. And um, then you can have a uh, uh, profile picture that actually just start showing up on a lot of diff different blogs and um, comment platforms and social networks that use Gravatar. There's quite a few. I'm not going to fill out any of the rest of this right now, but it would be useful if I wanted to have, uh, for example, a Twitter or Facebook widget for, for sharing an article. Um, that'll come in some later instructional video, video, hopefully. And now I need to put in just a little bit of basic information about my blog. So I'm just going to call it Fake AJ's Blog. Uh, tagline, not as cool as cool AJ's blog. Description, fake, fake, fake. Now the tagline is something that in some themes will show up on your homepage. And the description is something that gets put in the metadata for the site when it builds uh, so that search engines know what the, the focus of the site is. Um, and then the base URL, what I have to do for this is go to Google uh, Google Drive um, to find out what that's going to be because because that's where I'm going to host it. So I'll show you how to do that. So what I did was I went to new folder and created this blog folder. And now I need to go to the sharing settings, go to advanced. Uh, there's this weird looking link there that I'm going to copy. Um, actually, first I need to change this to be public on the web. Now I'll copy that link. Um, so this folder is going to be where my website's going to be hosted. I'm going to go back to Desi and I'll paste that link in here, but I don't actually need all of it. I'm going to get rid of everything from that ampersand to sharing. I just need this ID here because Google has a special way. Um, I had to search a little bit to figure out how you can use Drive as a web page, but you do slash host slash and then the ID and then the base URL is https uh, googledrive.com um, and this is just specific to Google Drive and it's not easily documented in their interface. I had to search a little bit to figure it out, but basically whatever your ID was, you put slash host slash in front of it, and then the base URL is going to be googledrive.com. Okay, so I'll click save and continue here, and then I'll make a first post. I'll just call it my first post. Um, and then I want to show off the Desi uses Markdown, so you'll notice there's no like bold buttons or list buttons or you know any of that kind of stuff. The way that you um, do those kinds of things is, well, the way that you do them when you don't have those buttons. So if I want to make a bulleted list, so let's say I have a, a sentence here. This, uh, I'll just say, hello world. All right, new paragraph is a new paragraph. Uh, nothing special there. List of items, a quote type thing. Uh, some programming code and a numbered list.
and maybe a link. Alright, that'll be my first post. Description, testy, test, McTestin. Alright, you can just, if this other stuff is unfamiliar to you, you can just kind of ignore it. Um, but it's showing the URL that it's going to be at. It's kind of long, because the way that uh, Google Drive puts that heck along ID in there. And then this is where it's going to be stored on the computer in the blog folder, which was blog, and then my first post.md for markdown. And then um, this is where it'll be saved when it's compiled. So in blog under compiled articles, my first post. Just, you know, if you need to know. Um, and then, oops, I actually am going to hit refresh here because there's a little bug with it right now where the first time I use it, I have to hit refresh first. I'll fix that hopefully soon. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to click build development site. Let's me know my site was built. And now I can preview what my blog looks like. So this is my blog. My homepage says hello world. And then I have archive, uh, my first post. Oh, and look, there's my first post in all of its glory. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up, oh, excuse me. Uh, so I have my blog folder still open here. You'll notice that there's the compiled dev folder. That's where this website is running from. It's on my computer on the compiled dev folder. Now, I want to change what my home page says. Um, this is my home page. Oh, no, not that one. This one. This is my home page. Um, and this index.md, that is the file that's the home page. I'm going to open it with a, a program, with a program called Light Paper. And then I'll edit this a little bit. Again, um, you can mostly ignore the stuff on the top, but in this case, I actually don't want it to call me, want it to be called home. I want it to be called welcome. So that's going to be the title of this page. And then I'll start off with my name is AJ. I love. All right, so I'll go ahead and save that and exit out. And then I want to go back and edit my post. So that's under posts and my first post. So I'll open this one up. And change that. OK. Now I will close out my blog there. I'm going to hit refresh. And I'm going to rebuild my development site. OK and click the link again. And now I have my new home page that says welcome. Um, so I'll close this out now that I've got a preview of what my blog looks like. And I'm going to do build production site. Build is complete. I'm going to go back to Google Drive and go back to the compiled folder. Not compiled dev, but compiled. I'll drag and drop these files. And while that's loading, I'll go back and click on the link to my Google Drive blog. Oh, and there it is. Looks nice. Everything's working. The only problem is that URL is kind of a doozy to share with someone. So I'll do one more thing to make this a little simpler. Is I'm going to go to bit.ly and I will paste in that heck along URL. And then I'll customize this. Fake AJ's fake AJ blog. Save. So now the URL that I could share with my friends and put on my Facebook feed would be bit.ly slash fake AJ blog. And that would take them to my blog. So there we are, installment one of working with Desi. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.